problem I'm having with this machine is this track seems a little bit loose, but this one is really loose. So this track is needs to be adjusted and possibly even replaced. So let's get this thing cleaned up. I'm here in my garage and I've got this jacked up and on some stands here on the back and on the front I just use the bucket to pick it up but take a look at how much slack is in this thing that's way 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 too much so on this machine we've got a adjustment right there that bolt so let's see if I can get this adjusted. There's an adjustment bolt and it's an inch and a half. So we have to take this plate off of here so that we can access it. I don't know exactly what happened, but that bolt to adjust the track tension, it would just push right through there. And so I played around with this a little bit and I think I'm, it must have gotten unscrewed somehow. So I pulled this roller out and now my track slid in, or my tensioner, whatever that thing's called, slid in there. And now I think I'm back on track because now that's That's uh, extending again. So let me get these rollers back on here and see if I can get this working. The owner's manual is saying that the tension is good. This is the plate that holds the uh, retainer plate. The owner's manual is saying that between these two blocks right here and right there, when that fits in there, so I'm, I'm good and tight right there, then your tension is good to go and that measurement is four and a half inches. On the other side here, the retaining block is missing, so I'm going to have to buy another one, order another one, but um, I just bought this machine used about a week ago or so, and I put about maybe 10 hours on it, on the project, and so really, I, I lubed everything up before I started out, checked the oil, cleaned the air filter, but this is the first real time I've had to go over the machine at all. So. That'll definitely get taken care of. Since I've got the machine up in the air, I'm going to go ahead and lube up all, all the rollers. I did this already earlier but I'm just gonna go ahead and do it again so you gotta find all these zerks on each one of these rollers so I think I've got access to two of them well there's maybe three but I think I have to move the tracks a little bit to get them all so just get those cleaned out and then get your grease gun in there
since I've got the machine here in the shop, I'm gonna go ahead and change the oil on it. So this is just a, an access plate. You pop that out and there's your oil drain. So let me get a pan under that. And I bought a few maintenance items. So we'll get a couple things done today. Here's the Kubota oil filter for my excavator, and I'm pretty sure it's the exact same one. But that's what they said to use, so that's what we'll do. The owner's manual is saying the oil filter is right under here, right under the alternator. So we'll open this up and see if we can see it. I guess that needs to come out now. This machine looked really good, but like I said, I just bought it, so might as well give ourselves a nice baseline to start from maintenance-wise. One of the things I noticed when I first got this machine, I cleaned out this air filter, and apparently this little tab right here is broken on this retainer, so somebody put a little screw right there. So I'm going to add that to my list of parts and pieces to buy. Like I said, I already took this out and cleaned it, but for the price of a filter, so normally you'd want to clean all this out, but I already did that, so it has less than 10 hours on it since I cleaned it out, so I'm not going to worry about it. But anyway, there's your inner filter.
and there's your outer filter. Oh, there it goes. And for the price of a filter, that's cheap insurance. This, I think, is just, there's a, a piece right there that's broken. So, somebody just put a little set screw in there. There's our oil fill, so we'll just get a funnel in there and start putting some oil in. Alright, I let the machine warm up for a little bit. Checked for leaks, everything looks good, put everything back together, and now that that track is back on track, I think this machine's ready to go back to work. I'll definitely get a couple of uh, those little parts that I need that are missing on this thing, get those ordered, and get those right back on there.